Okay, you're welcome to New Central. Um, this is meant to be a live broadcast. It's a thing of joy for us to be able to say that New Central championed what we believe will be um, a good course. And that good course is when we heard the story of some young people that we thought were kidnapped, but it turned out that they were layered uh, from Nigeria into going to Accra in Ghana. So we followed the story. We got our investigative reporter to follow the story, and we covered, and we then got the engagement and the support of um, the Ghana police to try and rescue the boys. Fortunately, as you would have seen earlier today, the boys have been rescued the parents have been brought to our TV station. We've got their families here. Uh, families of uh, three of the boys are here. We went out to look for two boys that were said to have been taken from Ikota, trafficked to Accra in Ghana. But it turned out that there were actually five of them, all Nigerians, uh, that have been trafficked from Nigeria to Ghana. And they were in the same household where they were being used uh, for criminal activities. So it's a great pleasure to say that your kids are back in Nigeria and we're expecting to see them now. Could you please bring the boys in and let's uh, celebrate their reunion with their families. Um, so we'll bring them in now. So we've got Daniel, Victor, Bright, uh, Zeal. And um, all five of them are here. So, and I guess this is one of their uncles. It's great to have you here. Boys, you want to go hug your mom and your dad, and you, I can see your face looking very much like your dad and your sister. So, good to have you. Please take a seat, and you too. Great to have you here. We're happy to see you. You can see your sister and your mom. Uh, so good to have you guys. Yeah. Yeah. They have been complaining. They're hungry. They're starving. They're hungry. They're starving. It looks like they've been starved for days on end. They've been starved. Oh, okay, is that your brother? I, your senior brother. I can see the resemblance. He's the one that had to go to Ghana uh, with that crew and um, try and see that they get the boys back. So it's so good to see you guys. Please um, take a seat. We still have plenty to talk about. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Yes. Yeah, mommy's boy. Oh, mommy's boy. That's okay. You don't want to, you just want to hug mommy. You're not hungry. It's good to see, it's good to see. Congratulations, congratulations, madam. Congratulations. Hello, are you happy to see your sister or your brother? And both of you look so much alike. Come, come, come. Let me see, let me see the, can you see the resemblance? Oh my God, they look like twins. Who's older? She's older than you. Yeah, there's one that is taller than him, and, they are, and, they, and you are how old? 17. He's 17 years old. How old are you? 20. You're 20. You still have one in between them. Someone is, he's older than someone. Oh, he's older than someone, and that one is taller than him. And how old is that one, 16 or 15? 15, and he's, tall, he's probably 15 years old and taller than me. That's amazing. So it's so good to see you guys. Congratulations. You're happy now to see your brothers? So good to see all you guys. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, we're happy to be able to have this reunion. Yeah. We're so happy to see all of you. So now, can I just ask the parents, what is the lesson that you have learned from this, the biggest lesson you've learned from this? Actually, my biggest lesson I learned from this, this incident that happened to our children is that we should put more effort on them. And secondly, 
whenever they are going out, the children should let the parents know where they are going. Not that children should just go out on their own without parents knowing where they are going. And the, another thing I want to say that I really appreciate the new central for helping us to, re to receive the children from Ghana and also Ghana police. We really appreciate them, sir. We really appreciate, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did Oh, you're being very emotional. Come here, come here, come here. And he's only 17 years old. 17 years old, and he's been through so much. So that means you have a lot of testimonies, don't you? So are you going to go to church, or do you go to mosque, or where are you going to go do your testimony and thanksgiving? Church. You're going to church? Yes. So this coming Sunday, you'll be dancing like David danced. Exactly. Will you take your shirt off and dance I will, in church? I will roll on the ground. You will roll on the ground. Awesome. That is fantastic. And what about you, mommy? Um, no, I have, are you going to give thanks? I have already give a uh, testimony last um, Sunday, yesterday. Yes. And I want to thank God for their lives. I want to yes. thank God for um, Cent New Central for their good, good job. Well done. And um, I'm advising them, children, not that we are, we are mothers, we are not trying. We are trying our best. And if we can be honest, I didn't support anybody. So I always tell him the truth, stand in the truth. I don't lie. They knows me right from time. We don't lie. So I don't know whatever comes, but I thank God for everything. They should obey their parents. They should obey God mostly. So that at last it will be well with them. I had a chance to speak with him, and um, he told me that he just simply believed that they were going to get a job. But we will tell that story at a later point during the course of today. He believed that they were going to get a good job, where they would get paid better offer, where they would get more money. But he never thought that they were going to end up where they ended up. But that's a lesson that once you get into a situation that seems like unfamiliar territory, don't even bother to go. Because you live in Ikota, don't you? So how you end up following anybody from Ikota all the way to Ghana, it just sounds, it sounds weird, doesn't it? No matter the offer, if it looks too good to be true, then it cannot be true, right? Because if somebody tells you you're going to do this and you look like this cannot be real, somebody is offering you a million naira and you know that your salary is 100,000 naira, you know that that person is going to do something that is unusual. That's a lesson for the future. So uh, the, you were earning 70,000 and how much were they offering to take you? Uh, if you go to Ghana with them, what were they going to pay you? He said actually. 1,500 CDs, which probably will be about um, $100, $150, and $150 will probably give you close to about uh, 300,000 Naira. So, 160,000, okay. So, that seems like a lot, and you will think that uh, you're going to make a lot of money, but when that kind of offer comes, question it. If it looks too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. That's a lesson that every single one of you must learn. We will have another conversation. Daddy, how do you feel? I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy seeing the face of my son again. So, and uh, another thing I want to advise them is that children have to be contented with what they have. Don't always think that you are smarter than your parents because your parents have gone, have seen a lot. So whenever you, you see your parents, whether your parents are rich, uh, they are not rich, as far as they are providing for you, supporting your vision and your dreams, you have to believe in them. And don't be secretive in everything you are in. You always open up yourself to your parents. Tell them whenever somebody comes from outside, Anything they offer, you always make your parents to you know what is on ground so that you have a good counsel. That's what I want to I want to say. I'm really happy for New, New Central. So you two are going to go to church and celebrate? Yes, I wanted to 
I gave testimony last two Sundays because I was excited. Faith in me, I believe. Immediately they went to Ghana, I believed that something would be ha- something would happen. So I wanted to give a testimony, and the, my my seniors told me that the testimony is half backed that I have to wait till something happen. I said, thank God, I began to rejoice. So this Sunday, I'm going to dance in the church. I'm going to uh, my people to, 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 to I, I, in fact, I will, I will thank God. Then. So if somebody had told you that um, it was going to cost at least about three to five million naira to get your son back, would you have been able to raise that money? From where? That's what makes it a, a, a miracle. If you don't even know, I've been, I've been sharing this testimony all, all about even where I lived. I'm a, a kind of, I do a small scale farming. My neighborhood where I stay, I've been telling them the story. Everybody said, thank God for you. Where would I have gotten that kind of money? So New Central came into our life. They really made something to happen. It's unbelievable. But I thank God that we still have People like you in Nigeria, a country that we thought that uh, things is normal, things are normal working. That people like you are still here. So, so we, we really thank God for you, and we pray that more grace will be given to you and your company. That you are going to do more, and the, God, God is going to take you more. Okay. This uh, and uh, yes, uh, uncle, your daddy's older brother and your big uncle. Yeah. Uh, so when you were in Ghana, what was it like for you? Well, I, Ghana, Ghana is uh, for the call, for the reason why I went to Ghana as a missionary. I thank God for everything. Everything went well. But of uh, this kind, I be seeing it over there happening and people are dying and a lot of things happening to people there and uh, fall victim to this, such a thing like this. So when I, back in Nigeria here, when I had about the incident, I knew what it's all about. It, though it came as a shock to me, and the, when the, um, the reason for that was, was you know, made known to me, I took it up immediately, sacrificially, that I must go, and make sure that uh, something happened. And uh, when I have heard about uh, the news um, central you know, intervening the matter, I was so happy. In fact, my major thanks go to, go to them. Because I know without uh, the new center, this wouldn't be possible. It look, in a miracle, it's, not, it's, a, it's an unexpected. That's a miracle when it happened. To people, it seems like a mystery, but something is behind it. And uh, I thank God for the effort of the new center to make sure that this thing happened and it become a reality today. And I know joy has come up everywhere. And I'm majorly happy as well. Okay. Congratulations. I think congratulations is right for every single one of you, uh, the kids and the parents, and two Nigerians who are witnessing a situation where five boys were rescued by the Ghana police in collaboration with News Central. We're delighted to have you back. And where is Marshall, who was uh, our correspondent and also the guy who went all the way. This man is, he deserves an award for the amount of work he has had to do uh, to pursue them, to find them, to locate them. What police in Nigeria couldn't have done, he's done it, he's investigated, found their location and then got the Ghana police. I was not there. He was the one that had to negotiate with the Ghana police to engage them and to find a way to bring the kids out. So the latest from you will be that uh, those perpetrators, they have been arrested. Yes, one person is currently in custody. As a matter of fact, they will be appearing in court tomorrow. The lead investigator, Detective Bashir, who had also contacted me earlier, had, was wondering if we'd be in court tomorrow with them. And then two others, uh, a bench warrant has been issued for their arrest. And there's an all-persons bulletin also issued. Um, their pictures and names will be distributed across immigration network, um, across West African countries. So those people will be de- declared wanted. Yes, and then we can also show their faces on our digital media platforms and on television to say, these people are traffickers of young people. The affirmative, sir, yes. Um, the Ghana police has already said we should do so. We should help them do that. 
And I'd like to use this opportunity, sir, to say a very big thank you to the Ghanaian police. They've done uh, well, and their level of collaboration with us was seamless. You know, they did a fantastic job while we were there. Okay, we will hope that we'll get some support from the Nigeria police and uh, from our immigrations. We will reach out to them again and again in the hope that we will get something from them. Thank you very much for a job well done, Marshall. Thank you. So, um, over back to you in the studio. Uh, we're glad to have had this. We will have conversation with uh, these young people and their family. There's a lesson to be learned from all of this. And um, at New Central, we keep saying that we will have to do only that which is uncommon, which is unusual. We're not going to do that which everybody else is doing. We insist on chasing the stories that are bold, that are brave, that shows that we have the courage to pursue stories that other people are not even bothered about. Because we believe that the people have to be looked after. Mm -hmm.